you know, a Christian should understand that hell is earth. That's what they should think. The Abrahamic religions, y'all should think that hell is earth. This, these, one of these comments was talking about that. I'm going to talk about that aspect of it. The other comment, um, mm, blind faith. Blind faith is required in order to follow these religions. So let's look at the first comment. He said that agents of the underworld working, agents of the underworld working day and night to lead as many people, as many souls to hell. He's talking about me. He's calling me an agent of the underworld and or that I'm imbued by agents of the underworld. He said we cannot comprehend everything about God. Of course you cannot. I've said many times that there is it's an impossibility for you to be able as an as a finite mind to comprehend the infinite mind. But what I can comprehend is a book that is written by man that has been edited by man that has been a uh, doctrine that has changed consistently based on the exact same writing by man uh, books that were taken in based books that were left out that was done all by man i can understand the politics of man i can understand the power plays of man that are all within these religions and in these books and i can look at history and archaeology and know what's real and what is not based on looking at this book and to know that this book is not describing the creator I do have that level of comprehension, so I don't need to be able to comprehend everything about the all because I never will understand that completely. But there's enough evidence to prove and show that any religion that is walking around today is not comprehending the fullness of the all and is imbued by a lot of man. Now, that may cause you to tell me that I am an agent of the underworld, but who's trying to set people free? By going through their own divinity and understanding self and leaving and 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 growing in their consciousness, and who's trying to keep people in the dark and use the but God excuse or the God of the gaps excuse as the second comment is going to get into? Who's trying to use that? Not me. Who's trying to free people from repeating life on this planet? Not me. And let's understand what this planet is according to the Abrahamic religion. See, although your book excludes the books of Enoch. It takes a lot of information from the book of Enoch and its description of the war in heaven. And in that war in heaven, as well as in some of the canonical books, it talks about the fact that they, the Lucifer, Satan, whatever misname you want to give him, was cast down to earth as his punishment of hell. So then where is hell? It wasn't until the Greeks came into play that hell became under the underworld, underneath the earth. But it's still earth. So who's trying to prevent people from remaining on earth? You have the concept, or most Christians or Abrahamics have the concept that you leave earth and go to a divine place. But when you look at the book of Revelations, it says that you come back down to earth and you live in this gleaming city, this new Jerusalem. You're still on earth, the jail for the fallen angels does that make any sense it does not how can you have heaven and hell in the same place i thought that god's brilliance god greatness his divinity cannot be where there is sin so how can the greatness be here on earth how can they be chained up in a lake of fire on earth but yet your heaven is the new earth you understand what i'm saying so that doesn't work it doesn't work the only true thing is an ascension away from this matter plane of existence into a new higher consciousness, a new dimensional plane. Now, my other guy, and it just so happens they were right next to each other. He said, yeah, but faith isn't meant to have answers. When those answers make God, faith isn't meant to have answers. Should be a comma there. When those answers make God look bad. So if this divine de deity looks bad then that's when you go on faith. That's where we insert mysterious ways. Exactly. That's when you insert, oh, God must work in mysterious ways because me as a conscious being would never promote a people to go and genocide another people, to go and kill all the fighting men, kill all the old men, kill all the young boys down to the infants, Kill all the women who have known a man and keep for yourselves the young girls who have not known a man as your wives. No, my consciousness would, I, would not allow that. But since your God consciousness does, that's when we have to say, hmm, God works in mysterious ways because we know that's not a good thing. When it says that you can take a person, buy a person from another nation, make them into your slave for perpet in perpetuity and pass them along to your generations, 
that's not something that I would say. Even if a person is in debt slavery and you're supposed to release them in seven years, but it says that if it's women or his children are born to this person during that time frame, they remain slaves. If a girl is sold into slavery, a daughter sold into slavery, she is to remain a slave in perpetuity. She is not to go free in seven years, even if she's from your own tribe. Now, the only change is if you give her as a wife to yourself or a wife to your son, then you must treat her like a daughter and not like a slave. But she's still property. I would not do that as a conscious good person. But your God does. So God works in mysterious ways. That doesn't work for me. In no shape or form does that ever work. And if you're a man and you're supposed to be released in seven years, but your master gave you a wife, you had children, and you don't want to leave your children, then you get up to the post, get your ear pierced, and now you're a slave in perpetuity, even if you're of the same tribe. That doesn't work for me. Instead, let the person have their freedom, but they work for you and pay it off. And I know some people say, well, that's actually what it is. But they call them a slave no matter what. They're still a slave. And if they have the children, they have to stay there. And I definitely wouldn't say, definitely wouldn't say, definitely, 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 definitely wouldn't say that if a young maiden who has not been given to a man is raped and they are caught, then the man, the raper, must pay the, the victim's father 50 pieces of silver and then the victim has to marry her violator. I would not, in my good consciousness, allow for that but you say your god works in mysterious ways when the answers make him look bad because you have to have this blind faith because you are betting your soul as far as you know you're betting your soul so you must accept these negativities in order for you to be able to stay with the primary idea that you are selfishly wanting to go to heaven so bad that you will accept this negativity from your deity. I'm just unwilling to accept that from any deity that says it created me, that that's the right way to live, that that is the consciousness that I need to have. That is God consciousness. If that is what you call God consciousness, then I don't want God consciousness. I'd rather be a human and I don't even like humans to the degree that I want to be around a whole billions of humans, you know, walking around praising this God, eating fruit from a tree that bloomed from trees that bloom 12 times a year. I'd rather not receive that God consciousness, that salvation and be with that God because that God is not a good God. That God is a little G because he's an egotistical, maniacal, savage, genocidal, woman-hating, chauvinistic pig of a tyrant. And you can have that do all to yourself. And if that makes me an agent, then call me Smith. But as always, you have to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.